we are in the year b liturgically in the year b of liturgical liturgical year we read from the gospel of mark all the readings are from the gospel of mark when sometimes john make a guest appearance and last weekend and this weekend and next three weekends is a john's guest appearance and we hear from john chapter 6 awesome chapter 72 verses so this is the second week we hear from john john is talking about last weekend we heard about multiplication of loaves and fish fishes and here we we hear that like all this crowd is after jesus for one, for one reason because we they saw him multiplying the loaves they thought okay he is going to do it again okay let's <laughs> let's have another meal you know you know they are so excited and so it's like hey jesus why are you late we were we been here for all day waiting for you jesus like i know guys you are here because you saw me making the miracle john does not use the word miracle he uses the word sign sign means he's sign means like when you see a sign that sign makes us to go something if you see a sign of kansas city that sign is not kansas city the sign leads us to kansas city right so it's a, it was a sign of something which means jesus says that bread i am the bread of life of course you were filled i want to know you more i want to know you i want you to understand a deeper meaning i am the bread of life i am with you i am going to give you myself jesus is the giver and jesus is the gift do you guys got it then they were like okay what should we do to get that what are the works of god to get that sustenance what should we do then john uses the word again believe in one whom he sent believing in in john there are 34 times we find the word belief and faith for john it me it has a, a deeper meaning when we hear the word belief and faith in the postmodern world in us when we hear the word faith and belief very it has a lot of intellectual strong intellectual character it is all about act of mind that is why when you see like a someone with a, a white coat white coat laboratory coat with a stethoscope in your in the pocket whatever that person says very believable right you know which means like authority we intellectual is an act of mind and uh, that is the way we in the postmodern world we think about faith belief it is here and jesus is time 2000 years ago it is not an act of mind it was an act of heart it is a social it is like a social glue binding one person to the other person it is a heart to heart relationship faith and belief means heart to heart emotionally rooted and external appearance is so it is so visible like people it's like a commitment loyalty solidarity jesus i'm with you no matter what they are people are there you know as a family it's like our own family you know we stay together heart to heart so in 2000 years ago faith is all about relationship heart and heart relationship so that is why you know both are good intellectual uh, understanding uh, and uh, you know authority and also you know as a act of heart act of mind both are good but bottom line is relationship that is why jesus said i am the bread of life you experience that bread of life when you believe in when you put your heart into someone or when you when you put your heart then you get it then you will understand that is what jesus did because the god he created everything he knows how dumb we are because he tried his level best to save us he sent patriarchs prophets 
all kinds of prophets, patriarchs, you know, King David and Solomon, oh, you know, think about it. All these years he worked hard. Then he thought, oh, I am done here. Let me send myself, my own son, you know. So he gave, Jesus came to this world, showed us, showed us a way of life. That way of life starting with a, a humble, very humble beginning. Taking birth, birth, a humble birth. Staying with his family for 30 years. How many kids want to stay with their parents for 30 years? You know, <laughs> you know? and obedient to the parents, right? And, uh, you know, taking the time to grow. Jesus is God, right? Full God. He didn't, th he didn't think about it. I don't think he said, oh, I, am I am so tired of being a teenager. I want to be an adult tomorrow. Tim. He didn't become like a, he did not skip his teenage years, you know. He just allowed himself to grow, right? Patience. He went through every step of the way. And, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, being a Jewish adult, went through public life, then he showed the whole world the importance of believing in, which means giving ourselves that relationship. So that is why all over the world, there are more than 2.4 billion people, right, Catholics. What happens? The same altar, Jesus giving himself the bread of life, you and I, we take in our hand we say, this is the body of Christ. Our response is, what do you respond? Amen, right? We believe this is the body of Christ. And we take the body of Christ into our hands. We take it and Jesus become part of our body. Then we, what happens? We go to our homes. We share that Jesus to the people around us. We forgive. We forgive people. <laughs> Right? We are patient, right? No, we are patient. We are loving. We are kind people. We are gentle. We are faithful. We have self-control. We have it. We are one. There is one baptism, one God. We are united, one body. Because the bread of life. So that is what happens. We are sharing our own body, which means we are sharing Jesus to the people around us. That is amazing. That is, so we live that way of life in our own, our own lives. In your family, you do that every single day. You share Jesus. Sometimes, sometimes it makes me really thanking God, like especially like this morning, on Saturday mornings. I see... A lot of people, many of you come here and taking care of the grounds and a food pantry and all the ministries. I can't believe, like, uh, you are giving your time, your talent and pressure for what? For what? Because you know who you are. You know you are an awesome body of Christ. Through you, your hands are Jesus' hands. Your heart is Jesus' heart. You are sharing a piece of Jesus to the people around you. That is what's happening. That is what's happening all over the world. Last Monday, uh, you know, in, in Kerala, I am from Kerala, India, you know, extreme south. Uh, in Kerala, in a, my um, county is called Kannur. Next to my county is called Vayanad. That is the name of that place. People there, they went to sleep, like all of us, and uh, they have dreams, right? They have plans, what to do next, next day. Lots of plans, lots of dreams. Children need to go to school. People need to go to work. And at two in the morning, something happened. A landslide, whole village, 450 families just disappeared. And uh, it was heartbreaking. Six landslides happened between two in the morning and six in the morning. I could, nobody could believe. And there was like a, a dead, dead silence. I mean, nobody knows what to do. And my sister-in-law's family, they were, their family lives there. 10 minutes before it happened, 
they heard something and they woke up, they got out of the house, and then what they, when they got out of the house, what they are seeing is their whole house moved away, and they are safe. But my point is, um, last uh, six days, five, six days, people from all over the world started Father Thomas, hey, are you okay? Are you, you know, many of you reaching out to me, yes, everything is good, everything okay. For, why? Why we do that? We know, right? One, we are all family. We take her off. We feel the pain. I feel the pain. We feel the pain. So things like that, it happens. The war, whether it's a war or calamities of any kinds, but we feel the pain because we know we are one, one family, we share one faith. Even if we don't share the faith, people, we are, because as a Christian, we feel all seven billion people, we are one family. I can see you are beautifully, wonderfully created in God's own image. You're not just somebody from someone else. No, you are God's image. I am God's image. We are together. So that is what happens when in our family when something happens. We stay together. We stay together no matter what. That is why the apostles, we are with you. We are with you. We are ready to go to die. Thomas the apostle told, let us go and die with him. We, let us go and die with him. Because we are family. Because Jesus giving himself the bread of life, that bread of life enters our heart, our life, and we become the hand of the Lord, heart of the Lord. And we can, beautiful way, we can share that Jesus so powerfully whenever we need it, wherever we need it. That is the beauty of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.